for the value of x here you have to have an in-depth knowledge of indices let's get to it without wasting much time recall that x must be what real first let's put everything in index form so x is same thing as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x right plus this is same thing as 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x divided by 12 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 everything raised to the power of x right 2 to the power of 2 is 4 4 times 3 is 12 okay plus this place is same thing as 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 since 3 to the power of 2 is 9 9 times 2 is 18 everything raised to the power of x i would like you to pay attention okay all right Recall that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is same thing as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Yeah, since this is equal to a to the power of m times n. Okay, so let's use this here in the numerator. So if we do that, we can bring this in and write that 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of x all right i'm now opening this bracket plus 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x okay recall that the algebraic identity a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so this let's apply this to what our numerator whereby our a is 2 to the power of x and our b is 3 to the power of x okay so if we do that let me stand here so that we can see the board well if we do that we write that we will express our numerator as 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x okay that should be the first bracket we open the sentence as 2 to the power of 2x okay minus a b that is minus 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x plus b squared that is 3 to the power of x squared which is 3 to the power of 2x over now let's factorize the denominator yes because the denominator have it has 2 to the power of what? x multiplied by 3 to the power of x as common factor. Okay? So when this is divided by this, you are left with what? 2 to the power of x plus when this is divided by this, you are left with 3 to the power of x. Okay? Now, see that this can what? Can cancel this. And we are left with 2 to the power of 2x minus 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of 2x divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x okay now so this is sentence as 2 to the power of 2x divided by 2x multiplied by 3x right minus 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of 2x divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x now when we solve this this numerator 2 to the power of 2x is same thing as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x yes using the law of indices this is same thing as when you pick one base which is 2, you add the powers x plus x, which is 2x, which is this, all right? So we are going to express this as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x. The same thing we apply to 3 to the power of 2x. So this same thing as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x, okay? Minus this divided by itself will give us one plus the same thing here this same thing as three to the power of x multiplied by three to the power of x okay divided by two to the power of x multiplied by three to the power of x 
Okay. As two to the power of x, we divide to the power of x. We are left with what? Two to the power of x divided by three to the power of x. Two to the power of x over three to the power of x minus this one plus. Then in this case, this will divide this. We are left with what? Three to the power of x over two to the power of x. All right, you can write this as what? Two over three raised to the power of x minus one plus three over two raised to the power of x. All right. Now, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to click on the follow button and subscribe to the channel. Sorry, and then on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Then don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you so much. So looking at this now, we can now equate this to be equal to what? 7 over 6. Because all this y, this is what we've been solving. We've been solving this, this left-hand side of the equation, right? So we can now equate whatever we got to be equal to 7 over 6. So let me even, let's clean here and use this side, okay? The solution is closed, okay? Just the stay put. <laughs> So this is what we got. 2 over 3 to the power of x. To the power of x. That is this side now is equal to this. Minus 1 plus 3 over 2 to the power of x. Alright, this is now equal to what? 7 over what? 6. So let 2 over 3 to the power of x be equal to what? Y. If we say that, that means this equation becomes y minus 1 plus this inverse of this, that is 1 over y, all right, is equal to 7 over 6. Now, to clear this fraction here, let's multiply through by 6, right? If we do that, we'll have 6y minus 6 plus 6 over y is equal to 7. Now, to clear this y, let's multiply through by y. And if we do that, we have 6y squared minus 6y plus 6 is equal to 7y. Okay, so we have 6y squared, all right? This 7y will cross to become minus 7y. So we have minus 6y minus 7y, okay? Plus 6 is equal to 0. Then we have 6y squared minus 6y minus 7y is minus 13y plus 6 is equal to 0. So we have what? A quadratic equation in uh, on the board. Now let's uh, let's use the quadratic equation formula that states that uh, y is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now in this case, our uh, a is 6. That is the coefficient of y squared. Our b is minus 13. And our c is constant, which is 6. Okay, so if we substitute this into this equation, we have that y is equal to minus b. That is minus minus 13, which is plus 13. Plus or minus square root of b squared. That is minus 13 squared, which will give us 169. Then minus... 4 times a, that is 4 times 6, which will give us 24. Multiplied by c again, that is 24 multiplied by 6, which will give us 144. So minus 144 divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 6, which will give us 12. Then we have that y is equal to 13 plus or minus square root of 25, okay, divided by 12. So we have two values of our y, okay? Just stick with me, I'm going to enjoy this, trust me. <laughs> so we have two values of our y. The first value is that y is equal to 13 plus root, root 25, which is 5, right? Plus 5, all over 12. And the second one is that y is equal to 13, now minus 5, all over 12. So we are going to get from the first equation, our y will be equal to 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 over 12. Or from the second equation, our y is equal to 13 minus 5 
is 8. So it's going to be 8 over 12. Now let's solve. So our y is equal to when 6 divides this, we have 2. If we divide 18, we have 3. So we have 3 over 2. Or our y is equal to 4 into this, we have 2. 4 into this, we have 3. That is 2 over 3. Okay. But recall that our y is equal to what? Recall we said let our y be equal to 2 over 3 to the power of x. All right? So we have 2 over 3 to the power of x. So for the first value, our y is equal to 3 over 2. So that means that, let's use the other side of the board. Yeah. Now the values of y we got that y is equal to 2 over 3 or that y is equal to 3 over 2. 3 over 2. Now we recall that our y is 2 over 3 to the power of what? x. Okay. So for this, you can say 2 over 3 to the power of x. 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 3, right? And this same thing as 2 over 3 to the power of 1. Now we have the same base. We can equate the power that our x is equal to 1. All right. For the second value of our y, that y is equal to 3 over 2. That means you can say that 2 over 3 to the power of x, 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 over 2, right? Now we have inverse here. So let's take the inverse of this side. Or let's take the inverse of this side. So we have 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 3 raised to the power of minus 1, right? Yeah. Now we have the same base, 2 over 3, 2 over 3. That means the powers are equal. That means here our x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, our x is what? x is equal to plus or minus 1. And that is the solution. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.